President Biden will be making a trip to Saudi Arabia and uh, on his trip, of course, uh, pushing for greater oil output from the Middle East. Uh, he's headed there. It makes his first trip as U.S. president. Uh, what are your what are your what is your guess on whether or not he'll be able to bring down some of these prices? Well, increasingly difficult, uh, certainly from, from their point of view, although obviously, you know, concerns about weaker um, economic growth have, have certainly impacted oil prices. And we've seen gasoline uh, futures in the US also fall as a consequence of that. But, you know, really to, for them to, um, you know, incentivise, I suppose, um, additional supply into the market is going to be quite a challenge. I think OPEC itself is obviously quite concerned about um, the limited spare capacity it has uh, in the market, um, even though it could potentially boost supply in the shorter term, it wants to be prepared for any additional um, disruptions to supply um, over the medium term. And certainly, you know, when you look at uh, uh, Russia in particular, we haven't seen the full effects of uh, those European sections um, in terms of um, in terms of uh, supply cuts. So, you know, this could become an e even tighter market um, in the, uh, the next six to 12 months. And OPEC want to be able to um, you know, respond to any sort of sudden or unplanned disruptions during that period. So for them to really boost output now, now I think, is, is unlikely. And I think the US is going to have to really, um, um, you know, look at obviously other measures uh, to, to potentially, uh, you know, I suppose delay that impact on, on of high prices. But it's going to be a difficult task for them. Let's take a look at copper prices because they have come down uh, since March, uh, traded at 494 about half a year ago. Uh, Dr. Copper, people are looking at it now because we're looking at all indications for potential recession. Uh, this is a pro-cyclical commodity, an indicator of recession. Uh, copper used in so many different things. What is the price telling you now? Well, it's telling me that investors are particularly bearish about the economic outlook. I think when you look at the underlying supply demand dynamics, there's certainly no indication that either we're seeing um, demand fall uh, quite sharply or that supply is, is picking up. In fact, it's, it's the exact opposite. We're actually seeing signs um, in China of that uh, demand uh, picture improving. Uh, but certainly um, investors have taken the view that um, you know, the, the tightening economic um, or the tightening monetary policies will lead to lower uh, economic growth. And, and so we're seeing um, investors become increasingly bearish. Um, you know, investor positioning, uh, both on the ME and the COMEX, you know, have turned essentially bearish. Um, and, you know, that's obviously playing out in the price. But I think the outlook still looks relatively promising. I mean, the fiscal stimulus measures we uh, expect to see um, in China now over the next uh, six to 12 months should uh, should benefit copper demand. It's still you know, the largest uh, consumer of the, uh, the metal. And I think you know, those um, ongoing supply issues will, will keep the market relatively tight as well. But in the meantime, I think we have to, to wait and see how sentiment in the, in the sort of global marketplace, um, uh, you know, is, is uh, over the next few months, certainly with, um, you know, the spectre of additional uh, rate hikes by the Fed.